This is Alejandro, our tour guide at Lady Bird Johnson Middle School, and he's going to show us all the ways that this place is special. Hi, I'm Alejandro Ibarra. I'm an ambassador for the school, and it's a pleasure to be here. This is the library. Everything is on wheels, so that we can make stuff easier to move around. Uh -huh. We don't really use these lights because we already get a whole bunch of light from the windows. I see. So the lights aren't on today? No. Because? Because the windows are giving light. As you can see, it says, scan below to see what Miss Scott has been reading. If you, if you want to see what kind of book, what book she's been reading, you just scan it and it tells you about the book with the iPad. Y'all haven't seen nothing yet. Y'all think y'all seen everything, but y'all haven't seen nothing yet. Okay. You know what's cool about this? The whole cafeteria is 100% recyclable. Look, come on, let me show you. Yeah, please. The cool thing is, on top, there's like holes in, in the top of the roof. And when it rains, we save that water. We use it to water this grass, the football field. The, this grass, there's 430 pumps under the school. All of it goes to like big, the water tank. And then, yeah, that's what that's So what it when it rains, it's a good thing around here, mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> well, for this school, I don't know about all the people. Right. Where does the water come from for the urinals and the toilets? We get that from, you know how we say water when it yes. rains? We get it from there too. Okay. This is the pump, and it also tells you the pressure right here. And then this sends the water where it, it, needs, to go. it needs to go. These are all the generators for the solar energy. This is where we store all our solar energy. It tells you the bolts. Um, the solar panels are over outside that door. They cover they cover 66% of our roof, and um, they power 99% of our school. We, we also have geothermal wells under the school, and they power some of the school. Okay, instead of solar panels, we have solar rods, because if, if, like, if there's a hailstorm and it breaks the solar panel, it costs a lot, so... Uh -huh. It could just break one solar um, solar water, it won't cost as much. I see. And then you, you know how I told you we, we save water? The water going through there when it rains? Yes. Right there. Now I wonder if these rods are more effective than panels. They are. You know why? Because these, it, um, it doesn't need direct sunlight. As soon as as soon as sunlight gets on it, they start working. Solar panels, they need direct sunlight. I see. Like, you see, the sun is giving direct sunlight to these over here. Yeah. And look, like, you see how it's giving some right here? Yeah. The whole the whole solar rod is working right now. But even these that are not in direct sunlight are, are working. Yes, sir. There's 2,998 solar rods. The latest technology. As you can see, it turns your white. This is interactive. There's a pin that uh -huh. you can get, and then it's like, it works right here, but then you can make the whiteboard your laptop. With the pin, um, the sun when it hits the solar cell, it could tell how much light is coming in here, so it will dim the lights. So, that, cause right now the lights are off and you have plenty of light in here. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah, plenty of light. We we don't use paper, so we use the netbook, so we can so we can do. Cause there's a website called Project Share. You can put your test on there. You can do your test online. All the red dogs mean as many as pumps as we have. There's pumps under the concrete. Right. Wow. And it tells you the whole map of the school, it just doesn't tell you inside. There are 530 geothermal wells spread across the campus of Lady Bird Dogs Middle School. That number, the 199.8, yeah. that is your, your current building load, what the, the building needs. Right. It's consuming. This number, the negative 268. Point nine. Mm -hmm. That's what the solar panels are producing. So you see a difference of 60 kW, roughly. So 60 kW is going. You're selling back. That's geothermal. Mm -hmm. Reduces uh, overall consumption by about 30 percent, and the solar is actually about 41 percent. Mm -hmm. the uh, these are what they call dark sky lights. Basically, they enable the lighting to stay down on the earth, they don't shine it back up into the sky causing light pollution, uh, which is a major issue uh, that you see in metropolitan areas. Very well done. More this, native planting. Yeah. This slate is native to uh, Texas stone. Mm -hmm. You'll see it all over the place. And it seems like it's just laid in.
It is now 11.59. What about Miss uh, Miss Gaylord? If, if it was in my power, I would pick her for the principal of the year.